is this place where I am. I always come back here when I'm done. The world is out there, dangerous, but I am inside, safe. The gate squeaks its unique squeal just to let me know when someone is coming to visit. I can let them in or not. It's my place. People know me here, but more importantly, I know myself when I'm here. This is my world, my life. If you could see through my eyes, how would your world change? What would remain? When we learn new things, a part of us stays the same. That's our heart. But our brain can imagine anything. We can fly through multicolored skies on wings made of wind. We can sink into a dark sea, remove the blackness and find peace in the vivid patterns beneath. Each of us has our own story, our own place that can't be occupied by anything other than ourselves. We see our world in a way that no one else can. Take a look at my life and through my eyes, see your world in a new light. one's called tactical hell. Don't get caught up in tactical hell, feeling like you need to constantly defend or attack to win battle after battle. This will only distract you from what is important. Instead, take an elevated view of life and analyze your emotions. A good way to do that is to simply take a step back now and then. Connect with the cosmic sublime, the limitlessness of time and space, the inevitable creation and destruction, the infinite possibilities of thought, and imagination. We are all here. Beginning, learning, mastering, deceiving, and being deceived. Believing lies and disbelieving truth. Winning and losing. Living. One day, this chapter will end. What will the next one teach us? A secular Sabbath, a cathedral in time, not space a place to mediate, meditate, reason and resonate. 
internal, silent in my chamber, retired from the circuits and wires required by this predicament some call productive. Disconnected from the hectic, head-splitting, reckless presenteeism, I find a window in time to fit me in. A place to just be in. A cathedral in time, not space. A place to meditate, mediate. A second away from the madness. At last, a secular suburb. This one's about Oxford City Centre. It's called the Colonial Theme Park. Backpacks and maps, camera phones or long-lensed, long-legged tripods eagerly standing in line to see the next attraction. Queuing in an all-too-British fashion, in picturesque sunshine or with rain lashing. Socks pulled up to knees, and short shorts, standing on tippy toes to catch a glimpse of the action. Here for a thousand years or more, for an afternoon excursion, searching desperately, not to miss that thing that must be seen, to tread on the same streets as someone important once did, to grasp that thread and follow it, to that life-changing epiphany before the bus leaves. So pretty, it must be seen to be believed. Use a zoom lens to get closer. It looks just like the postcard. Architecture and artifacts captured and placed in cages, presented for the glory of church and crown. Take only photographs home to the nation of origin and don't touch. Buy a souvenir bag that says, I love London. And add an aluminium miniature Big Ben for the mantelpiece as a bonus. You have been to Oxford. Just remember to respect our local customs and please, don't feed the homeless. This one's about power. Powerless. Done to, not with. Devoid of the ability, influence or resources to create meaningful change. They won't help me, so how can I help myself? We've been waiting for so long for somebody to do something. We've given up asking. We've given up trying. And the power and the buck just keep on passing. And the power and the buck just keep on passing by. How can we do things differently? A lack of power means no hope. Hopelessness is my friend's neck in a rope, hanging from a tree, feeling like he had no power to decide who he was going to be. Power is an opportunity. An opportunity rarely truly afforded to my community. Is power given or taken? Is power given or taken away? How can we do things differently? Devoid of strength, a powerless victim, lacking the capacity or authority to act. Seeing someone in need and being powerless to help. Anger, sadness, 
disgust and mistrust of power. Who can give me power? If I ever had power, who took it away? I know that my power is hidden, concealed by those that claim to hold it on my behalf, by those that would give out fish every day before they would issue a permit to cast my line in waters owned by no one and only cared for by me. My power is the basis of their authority. Their power is my community. If I refuse to let my power be used, their sovereignty becomes diffused, illusory, useless, ineffective, powerless. Is power given or taken? Is power given or taken away? How can we do things differently? I have power, the power of speech, the ability to do, the ability to say whatever I choose, the ability to act, to help, to nourish my community. Power is time, power is resources, power is truth and influence and support. Power is mine to give, power is mine to receive. Who can give me power? Who can take my power? Greed is hoarding power, holding power, withholding power, controlling power, spending no time, wasting resources on ticking boxes, giving out tins of sardines when there are bigger fish to fry, wasting time, bending truth to keep the illusion of power at the top of a tower, out of reach, behind the screen to cast shadows on, shadows of hope. How can we do things differently? Who can give me power? Is power given or taken? Is power given or taken away? Power is mine to give, power is mine to receive. Power is knowledge, knowledge is power, honesty, knowledge of self, knowledge of the power we hold in ourselves. Trust, not needing a permit to improve or feed each other. When help is needed, who can we turn to? Who can we trust if not our brother or our sister, our grandmother? Who knows us better than us? If we have knowledge of ourselves, if we have time for ourselves, if we have resources for ourselves, if we have influence and support and truth, then we have power. Now, how can we do things differently? A buzz in the air. The air crackles. Something tangible, soothing spirits, reassembling what was once dismantled. Try to hold it and it slips away. It sits just out of reach, but it's there. A buzz in the air. A taste on the tongue tip, a memory on the lips. An energy felt, never seen, save on the faces of others. The heart, the whole place tingles, vibrates, pulses, the colours more vivid, every particle brings forth art, never to be captured in a photograph. But it's there, a buzz, in the air, prickling, tingling, tickling, forearms and necks, next rippling up and down the spine, 
a thread connecting all time, past, present, future, gone too soon, impossible to forget, playfulness, connection, flow, a glow that can't be illustrated with a thousand words, a sound unrecorded, by a stare, a buzz in the air. I have one more for you before my, my brothers and my sister join me on stage. Let's hear it again for Miles and Kube. This one, this one was inspired by the project that's, that's brought us all together uh, this evening, a project called Digging Crates, um, which we did in the Pitt Rivers Museum last summer, working with the wonderful band Wanda, N-A-K-L, which you saw earlier, let's hear it for them. And of course, Miles. And of course, my family who's about to join me on stage. <laughs> yes, indeed. <laughs> this is called A Shattered Cage. We shattered a glass cage, took the fragments, and rearrange them to create new patterns. No longer afraid, brave. No longer framed as a slave to the damage caused by the chains. The shame of not being the same. Now take ownership of the name to explain what was taken away and placed in a cage to be looked at. Remarked upon as strange, quaint. How they used my blood as paint to tell stories about my face without my face. But now I claim my place. I own this space. No one can take my pride, my power. This is my hour to shape, my tower to shake, my power no cage can contain. Proud of my name, proud my family came through, made do and did what we had to, with blood, sweat and tears in untold battles. Watched the road unfold as we traveled and riddles unravel till I emerge from the cave. Stand in this place amongst the fragments of my shattered cage. Broken chains. I name myself king of my future. My kingdom is universal. You are welcome to walk with me. Miles and Kube, everyone. Say inner peace. Inner peace. Inner 